let's talk about photosynthetic pigments so we uh, just uh, studied about the definition of the photosynthesis and it said that photosynthesis is a process that converts the solar energy into the chemical energy and that chemical energy is being utilized to produce carbohydrates now we all know that the solar energy is required for the photosynthesis process so this solar energy in the photosynthesis process is being captured by the photosynthetic pigment molecules okay now there are many different types of this photosynthetic pigments and the major photosynthetic pigment is chlorophyll and you have listened enough about chlorophyll so yeah chlorophyll is your major photosynthetic pigment so the chlorophyll is your light absorbing green pigment okay the chlorophyll is just green in color it is a green pigment okay, chlorophyll also contains a polycyclic planar a uh, tetrapyrrole ring structure okay chlorophyll has a tetrapyrrole ring structure and that uh, tetrapyrrole ring structure is planar as well as polycyclic chlorophyll is also a lipid soluble in chlorophyll there is a central metal ion and this central metal ion is your mg2 plus chlorophyll has a cyclopentanone ring okay this cyclopentanone ring is just fused to the pyrrole ring 3 okay there is something known as pyrrole ring 3 to this pyrrole ring 3 the cyclopentanone ring is fused and that structure is there in your chlorophyll pigment chlorophyll molecule has a ring phi in its structure now this ring phi has this propionyl group now this propionyl group of the ring phi of the chlorophyll molecule is just is terrified with the long chain tetra isoprenoid alcohol okay the propionyl group of the ring phi of the chlorophyll is just is terrified with the long chain tetra isoprenoid alcohol now the chlorophyll molecule is basically made up of two parts the first part is porphyrin ring okay this porphyrin ring is the first part uh, which has magnesium at its center and the second part is of the chlorophyll is your hydrophobic phytol tail okay so chlorophyll molecule is made up of two parts the first part is your uh, porphyrin ring and second part is your this hydrophobic phytol tail in your porphyrin ring which is the one part of chlorophyll molecule you have magnesium at the center now the phytol tail which is your second part of the chlorophyll molecule is a 20 carbon chain and this 20 carbon chain is highly hydrophobic okay and that is the reason why this high uh, the, this this phytol tail is known as hydrophobic phytol tail now let's talk about the differences between chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b so this is the molecular structure of chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b chlorophyll a has the molecular formula not molecular structure the uh, uh, the molecular formula of chlorophyll a is c55h72 
O5 and 4 mg and the molecular formula of chlorophyll B is C55 H70 O6 and 4 mg ok so here there is H72 but here there is H70 and here there is O5 and here there is O6 so this is the difference between between the molecular formulas of the chlorophyll A molecule and chlorophyll B molecule. So in pure state your chlorophyll A shows blue green color and in pure state your chlorophyll B shows olive green color. So if you are considering the color of chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B then chlorophyll A is having blue green color and chlorophyll B is having olive green color okay so your chlorophyll A is an essential photosynthetic pigment okay it is essential and your chlorophyll B is accessory so not that essential it is accessory photosynthetic pigment chlorophyll B and chlorophyll A is essential photosynthetic pigment there is a pyrrole ring 2 structure in the chlorophyll A molecule as well as in chlorophyll B molecule now this pyrrole ring structure in the chlorophyll A molecule has a methyl group okay the pyrrole ring 2 of the chlorophyll A has a methyl group whereas the pyrrole ring 2 of the chlorophyll B has an aldehyde group okay so the pyrrole ring 2 of chlorophyll a has a ch3 group and the pyrrole ring 2 of the chlorophyll b has an cho group now the chlorophyll a okay absorbs more red wavelength than violet and blue wavelength and the chlorophyll b molecule absorbs more violet and blue wavelength okay so the uh, chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b are absorbing different wavelengths that is different light color of lights the chlorophyll a is all about absorbing the lead, uh, red wavelength and the chlorophyll b is all about absorbing violet blue wavelength the oxygenic photosynthetic organisms okay which evolve oxygen while doing photosynthetic contains different types of chlorophyll molecules okay now those different types of chlorophyll molecules are chlorophyll a chlorophyll b chlorophyll c chlorophyll d so these are the different types of chlorophyll molecules which exist in oxygenic photosynthetic organisms now this chlorophyll molecules there's different chlorophyll molecules that is chlorophyll a chlorophyll b chlorophyll c chlorophyll d are different from each other because they have different substituent groups on the tetrapyrrole ring now your there in in chlorophyll molecule there is a tetrapyrrole ring right now to that uh, tetrapyrrole ring different groups can attach and this phenomenon gives rise to different chlorophyll molecules okay different chlorophyll molecules exist because in those different uh, chlorophyll molecules the tetrapyrrole ring is containing different groups so it so chlorophyll a chlorophyll b chlorophyll c chlorophyll d have tetrapyrrole ring and all of them have uh, different groups attached to this tetrapyrrole ring so we talked about oxygenic photosynthetic organism now let's talk about the uh, chlorophyll molecules in an oxygenic photosynthetic organisms uh, so photosynthetic pigments that exist in an oxygenic photosynthetic organisms are known as bacteriochlorophyll molecules okay bacteriochlorophyll molecules 
are there in anoxygenic photosynthetic organisms well anoxygenic photosynthetic organisms belong to prokaryotes and prokaryotes is all about the bacteria uh, so yeah it makes sense the photosynthetic uh, the the chlorophyll molecules in this anoxygenic photosynthetic organisms are called as bacteriochlorophyll molecules so this uh, bacteriochlorophyll molecules of anoxygenic photosynthetic organisms are related to chlorophyll molecules now this different groups there are different groups of this anoxygenic photosynthetic organisms so these different groups of this anoxygenic photosynthetic organisms contain different bacteriochlorophylls okay so like bacteriochlorophylls are also not same in all the uh, organisms okay they are different in different anoxygenic photosynthetic organisms so these different types of uh, bacteriochlorophylls are bacteriochlorophyll a then bacteriochlorophyll b then bacteriochlorophyll c then bacteriochlorophyll uh, d and then bacteriochlorophyll e okay so these are the different types of bacteriochlorophylls okay uh, this b c h l is the abbreviation of the bacteriochlorophyll so yeah a b c d e different types of bacteriochlorophylls exist in different groups of anoxygenic photosynthetic organisms so is there any difference between these bacteriochlorophylls and normal chlorophyll molecules yes there is a different difference the difference is this bacteriochlorophylls absorb light at a longer wavelength as compared with the chlorophyll molecules okay so this bacteriochlorophyll will absorb a light of longer wavelength and in comparison to that your chlorophyll molecules will absorb a short wavelength of light as compared to the wavelength which is absorbed by the bacteriochlorophylls okay